an area run by agriculture, livestock, and manual labor. These things have become the culture and everyday tasks of much of the population. Where do the growing prairies find place for art and other luxuries in their lives? We will explore the creative and expressive side of the prairie folk in this segment. The prairies are home to some beautiful landscapes with dashing colors, such as in this painting located in Rideau Hall in Ottawa, the Governor General's home when spending time in Canada. The Mendel Art Gallery and Civic Conservatory, opened in 1964, is the largest public art collection on the immediate prairies and also the most popular, gathering more than 180,000 visitors per year. The art gallery held more than 7,700 pieces of art. The one-of-a-kind building was a huge success in garnering attention for contemporary art on the prairies. And the Civic Conservatory attached was a beautiful open room housing hundreds of plants. On June 7, 2015, the Mendel Art Gallery permanently closed its doors. But hope was not gone, as all artwork will be moved to the new art center, Remi Modern, due to open in 2017, which will house over five times more art than Mendel due to its extremely large size. In performing arts, there are countless amazing centers across the prairies, such as the Conexus Art Center, located in the capital of Saskatchewan. In the heart of Winnipeg lays a beautiful ballet-specific center. Established in 1939, this centre is not only the Prairie's most amazing ballet, but it is Canada's premier ballet company. Also in Winnipeg is the beautiful Pantages Playhouse Theatre. A designated historical landmark, Pantages hosts all kinds of theatre productions, both amateur and professional. So what is your art? Um. Basically what I do is I wood burn and then I paint on different pieces of wood or I just paint on rock or, or draw, yeah. And what was your inspiration for your artwork? Um, basically I do a lot of nature watching and do a lot of hiking. So I see lots of animals and lots of plant life, anything related to nature. Carmen's work is nothing short of breathtaking. Her masterpieces showcase her true talent and hard work. You can see how much dedication is put into these pieces. Many big-name concerts or traveling shows use arenas to display their show. The MTS Center in Winnipeg is the Eastern Prairie's largest arena for commercial use. Opened in November 2004, the MTS Center can hold over 16,000 people at capacity for concerts and over 15,000 people for ice dance or figure skating shows. In the Central Prairies, the Sastel Center is the largest commercial arena, carrying 15,000 people for concerts, such as Selena Gomez, who recently brought her tour to Saskatoon. In the West, the Scotiabank Saddle Dome is the largest arena for concerts, holding over 19,000 people. After opening in 1983, the facility quickly became one of Canada's most popular arenas. Smaller popular venues include TCU Place and O'Brien's Event Centre in Saskatoon, the Burton Cummings Theatre in Winnipeg, and the Jubilee Auditorium in Edmonton. Pictured here is a show at O'Brien's Event Centre. Much of the art on the prairies focuses on the nature and land aspect. Many First Nations have become extremely famous because of their depictions of the spiritual connection with the earth and all beings. They tell the story of their ancestors through paintings and tell religious tales through drawings and poetry. Many use art as expression and teach not only others but also themselves about valuable life keys. The beautiful landscapes of the prairies reflect the nice side of art. But artists like to create art based around struggle and tension. Songs about the destroying of land and graffiti about struggling for money or dominance. 
it all turns out beautifully jagged. So much art exists within the prairies, whether permanent or temporary, it all shines beauty on prairie life and makes everything a bit more enjoyable. Thank you.